Hey, people. It's me again. So, anyways. Um, one of the things that I wanted to talk about here is you probably heard about this sort of proposed law in Florida as far as that goes. And depending on which uh, side of the coin, you'll hear certain things about it. But mainly when it comes to the mainstream media or, or the left, it's just this sort of don't say the gay bill, which is a blatant lie. There isn't really anything in that bill that pertains to that. It's just simply just allowing parents to to be more in control of what the curriculum is taught in public schools as far as that goes. And especially how when it came to some of these uh, stories, you know, where, where like they learn certain things and parents just didn't really know what was going on. You know what I mean? So, anyways, my whole personal opinion about all of that is I don't think kids should really know about all of that sort of thing when it comes to LGBTQ stuff until they reach the appropriate age, you know, which would be kind of like around middle school as far as that goes. Yeah. But then for me, it was like, I didn't really know about the term gay until I think I was in fifth grade when they were talking about the don't ask, don't tell there. So that was like the thing there. Yeah. So anyways, um... Considering all of that, you know, it was right at that time when they had the whole family life and as far as that goes. But it was like, you know, one part of the whole sex education that that uh, I had at school, you know, where it was early as like fifth grade and then um, sixth grade. And then I think it was also was reinforced from then on, you know, when it came to like grade appropriate material at that point, you know, when I was like in middle school and then when I was in high school at one point or another, you know, where they also explained like what is a condom, you know, as far as both types of condoms, you know. But at the same time, there was also other shows that were, that were, you know, that also helped reinforce things, you know, because then I remember um, Dr. Drew's uh, Love Line that was on there. And I think it, it was probably after... After I graduated high school, then they had that one woman who was, she wasn't really necessarily like Dr. Roof, but in that same thing there, but people will call and ask her about like some sort of sex related questions, you know, but then like Dr. Roof was the first woman to do that talk show there, but that is just the thing there. So, anyways, I'm trying to remember some stuff there. And then I think I even remember, like, watching, like, some of those old sex education films at that point, you know, or something of that nature where they had that one about explaining puberty. And it was one of those old uh, films that was, like made in the late 60s or 70s 
you know, because I could tell by, like, the hairstyles and the whole thing, you know. And then, of course, I had that kind of reinforcement from my parents at that point when they were explaining to me about, like, that your body is changing, Scott, and so you're going to have a deeper voice and all of that, you know. And I do remember it was one of those shows that they had on TV where, where they explain it. As far as that goes, I think mom had had made me watch it at one point because I was at the right age to know about all of this. So, anyways, now I'm trying to remember all the other stuff at this point here. And then considering, like, you know... Internet was kind of at its infancy at the time when I was in high school. You know. And I remember at one point that my high school had was like the first schools in the district to have internet access. Yeah. And then I remember at one point they had to take they had to block the internet access because of the district uh, higher ups that found out about that and so it wasn't until like my sophomore year was when they had the acceptable use policy and so we can use the internet as far as that goes but we can't really go look at anything that's you know not age appropriate as far as that goes because then I do remember at one point you know where some of the kids were looking at such sites because I remember at one time, you know, it was probably some girl that got on uh, was it like Playgirl and when they had those pictures of Brad Pitt back in the time, you know, that was featured on the magazine. And that was when he was... Uh, Still dating Gwyneth Paltrow at that point there. So, that was the thing there. So, anyways, I'm trying to remember this point there. So, anyways, um, as far as that goes, you know, when I was starting college at Saddleback there, that um, that was when they when they started the whole GSA group, as far as that goes. And I remember at one point it was like Fred Felt was down here protesting and all of that, you know. But it's just one of those little things again. You know how times have shifted. And it's been almost like 10 years since he's been dead. As far as that goes. And yet. Some of his family's influence had changed so far. You know. You know when it came to. Those other people. In his clan. But I don't know what has happened to the rest of the clan so far. But, you know, there was some of them that end up actually being gay or trans and whatnot. That's a whole different story altogether. So, anyways. Um, as far as that goes, I, I, I guess this is probably it because I, I kind of ran out of other things to add onto this so anyways talk to you guys later